Hi there, this is Bill, and this is a quick demonstration of using Autodesk Fusion 360, which tells me my term ends in 24 days, but anyway, um, which is a 3D modeling program, and I've drawn up this window frame with it, and at the moment it's set to about 600 by 600 so if we go to modify to change the width of it we go to change parameters and we have here a user parameter of 600 so if I change that to a thousand just go OK so you can see it changes immediately and these little distances all stay the same and so on and so forth and likewise one for the height I got 600 mils. I'll make that a thousand as well. Just go OK, and there you are. You've got the the window. So now, if you wanted a technical drawing of that, the process is as follows. You go down to Drawing from Design, and this little box on the right comes up. And we're just going to create new, every, just leave everything at A, A3 and so on and so forth. Press OK. All of this, I think, is all cloud-based. So you don't actually store any um, files on your own little um, computer at all. It's held on the... Uh, and I've had this before. You, you don't seem to see anything. Um, and it, I think it's the way doing its thing in the yes yeah. it take, takes a while but it gets there in the end and you're left with this and they give you one of the views there like that and it's 1 to 20 scale we just make that 1 to 5 and just like that and now if you wanted to a, uh, do a drawing view uh, projected view um, so there's the parent view and there's the side view you press escape and see once you've got that you just grab it by the ears as it were and move it over to there so you're doing proper three third angle projection in other words that's looking onto that side there like that and then once you've done that, it's easy, easy to just throw on a few dimensions from there to there, being a thousand, and from there to there, being 250. And notice it snaps, snaps all over the place. So if you put it there, you have to, there's probably a way you should do this, but that, that just shows you that you can change that. And of course the the height there to there. Now one of the things that um, you can do with this is that you can up here you've got untitled, and so if I press save on that one, I'll call it um, standard window frame drawing. I left an E out on that, didn't I? Frame drawing, typical window. Just save it. And then you go back into your window and you go, well, actually, there was one thing that I did want to change. See, at the moment, this is set up for a, a certain depth of wall. So sometimes, quite often, apparently, you have different size thicknesses of walls. So this program has got built that, that is built into it so that the wall thickness at the moment is 250. So if I set that back to say 150, press OK, see everything changes. So, but if we go back to our standard window over here, ah, uh -uh, it hasn't changed. So the thing is, what you have to do is you have to save this drawing. It comes up version, save, but I just go OK on that. So once you've saved that, pop back to this guy here, you get a warning down in the bottom corner. Changes have been made, so you need to change that. So, and up in the top corner up here, you uh, just press that button, and hopefully, 
it's re rewound it. Okay, so that's that's 150, whereas it was 250. Okay, so that's about all there is to it. Um, you'd have to hope that maybe if you had a sash in there, that the sash would also sense the size of the window and re reset itself and so on. One day, maybe. Thank you for watching.